Good morning everyone. Today we have an update on the really sad incident that happened on the Viking Polaris uh, where the rogue wave hit the ship and one of the passengers was killed. Uh, prior to this there was a, another passenger that was injured on one of the Zodiac trips and this person was injured to the point that the uh, captain decided to turn the ship around and head back to Argentina and that's why they were in the Drake Passage at the time of the rogue wave because they needed to get this lady back to get surgery on her leg. Uh, something happened on one of the Zodiac trips and she was injured. So right now I've got a report from Good Morning America from their YouTube channel uh, that gives some video and, and more information so please go ahead and subscribe to them and if you would subscribe to my channel, uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, thank you. An American passenger. Transportation correspondent Gio Benitez joins us now with their story. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Michael. Good morning. Yeah, an investigation is now underway into what went wrong on this trip, leading to multiple injuries and, as you said, even a death. But ABC News is now learning it wasn't the only incident on this trip, and the passengers are telling their story right here on GMA. Whoa. This morning, new details emerging about a harrowing tale at sea. It was going real smoothly, and we were only anticipating nothing but smooth going forward. Tom and Pam Trustdale were on a bucket list trip to Antarctica last week when their trip of a lifetime turned into a deadly disaster. Not only was their boat, the Viking Polaris, slammed by a killer rogue wave, ABC News now confirming just one day before, a fellow passenger was seriously injured during a Zodiac boat excursion. The Trustdales were on the boat too. The passenger across from me said, oh look, there's penguins jumping out of the water. And that's when the explosion occurred. Pam recording the tense moments on her phone as she and fellow passengers were thrown into the air. It was a real loud, it was a boom. And I flew up in the air and the passenger across from me flew up in the air. She came down and hit hard. I hurt my leg though. <laughs> I can't move mine. I saw the woman go probably about three feet in the air and then the gentleman straight across from me go up in the air and then roll over into the sea. So I went across and leaned over the pontoon and I just grabbed on to the life jacket. He was face up, so he was stabilized and I reassured him that, hey, you're safe. Tom and another passenger were able to quickly pull the man back onto the Zodiac boat, the woman's leg severely injured. Oh, okay. She said, I, I, I hurt my leg. She said, I can't feel my leg. And then I could hear her kind of straining that, you know, I could tell that she was in a lot of pain. The passenger's leg requiring surgery, leading the ship's captain to turn back to Argentina immediately through the treacherous Drake Passage, known as one of the most turbulent stretches of ocean in the world. The water's rough. Around 10.30 p.m. the next night, a rogue wave crashed into the Polaris, killing one passenger, Sherry Zhu, and injuring four others. This wave hit it and came over and literally broke through windows and just washed into these rooms. And not only did it wash into the rooms, but it, it broke walls down and one, some walls went into the next room. You can see that there were windows out on about... I don't know, somewhere around six of the rooms, six, six or eight, six or eight in varying degrees. Viking saying in a statement it is investigating the rogue wave incident and committed to the safety and security of all guests and crew. And Pam went on to describe the incident on the Zodiac boat as an explosion. She told us the floor buckled, almost like squeezing an aluminum can. Now, we should tell you this is incredibly rare, but workers in the industry, they're concerned because these kinds of trips, they're becoming more and more popular, guys. Okay, Gio, thanks very much.